Certainly a bit late on this one, guys. I do apologize. Lots of stories going out, but certainly one I wanted to cover and a lot of you guys were sending me. That being this past weekend, this last weekend, we had an Overwatch caster, I would say under a bit of fire and maybe justifiably so for some of the comments, but other comments taking it certainly too far as the internet usually does during an Overwatch broadcast, a caster in talent known as Hexagrams, uh, taking some moments to say some things that a lot of casters would not say. What is later caused by a lack of sleep, that being sleep deprivation, amongst many other things as well. Guys, when I first heard this clip, I don't think anything, in my opinion, was necessarily too bad. You can pile it all together, and, and certainly you can understand why a few fans out there were a bit upset by his performance, but I'm, I'm a big uh, proponent of moving on from these kind of things. The first thing I thought about when I saw this clip, which I'm about to play for all of you, is I cannot imagine casting Overwatch completely sober, completely healthy, and <laughs> completely sane let alone being sleep deprived uh, heavily and then trying to cast a game Overwatch. Yeah, I, I would probably slip up uh, even worse than this. Here's the clip, guys, and then we'll talk further about Hexagrams, who was under fire this last weekend for this broadcast. Uh, but yeah, they, they, I, yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, um, and this will be our crunch time presented by Pringles Wavy. Is crunch time. Profit's going to be our player of the match. Um, I don't know who sponsors yeah. this, nor do I care. Xfinity. But like, he's going to be your player of the match. Uh, Xfinity, right? Uh, there you go, Seth. That, like, that's you guys have really to do your summary. No, no, <laughs> this, this is actually my response. Like, I, I was prepping in this. I was prepping this during my halftime. I was like, I have nothing to say. I have absolutely nothing to say for this halftime. Well, I used to be a giant NYXL fan. Like, legitimately, I was a giant NYXL fan. I'm like, oh man, they just chill, and Jonak just hits these. It, Soul is rocking on you. Soul is shooting you in the face. Like, how do you live your life when Soul is shooting you in the face? That doesn't feel like it's. It, it, you should not be able to live your life comfortably when Soul. Soul! Soul! Losing record! Soul is shooting you in the face! I, uh, well, I don't think they're I don't think they're feeling too comfortable right now. When they came in, they had like three up on that, and they just were unable to close out the fight. And then he said, the dragons come in and do dumb shit. He did a bunch of dumb shit in London. Oh, last no. Okay. Good God. There were like two shots that were like, okay, I accept that. That's fine. And then the rest of it was just absolute nonsense. Good God. Like, that was terrible. I'm here in front of point B. Oh, th this is just a... a, 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 a tr I forgot the word. Watching, but Soul Dynasty fans, don't get too excited yet. Obviously, you know, we still very much could be on a roller coaster, but we're going to find out. That's going to do it for our game break and for our crunch time. Oh, no, like, I'm, I'm probably the least... Uh, Nene fan ever. I just don't I, I don't think he's ever really done anything good for this New York roster. Like I knew the New York roster for like season one. And before anyone makes their judgments, you know, I think we need to learn uh, a bit more of moving on from these kind of things. I don't think it's necessarily, you know, uh, too bad of an example. Obviously, he has now come forth and explained uh, his side of things and his circumstances out there. And I hope the best for him and that he works on his personal health uh, following something like this. Also, most importantly to me, his partner at the time, that being a key Helios has also responded on Twitter, most importantly, you know, that's the guy that was kind of put in, in the most, in the toughest spot by uh, Hexagram's action, so a response that I certainly cared about as he took to Twitter, and said, was waiting for Hex to speak before I said anything. Some keep saying how I look pissed or was subtly throwing shade. I was more so concerned about a friend. Glad he's feeling better now. That's absolutely the most important thing. As Hex took to Twitter to say, hey, sometimes your mental breaks. Sometimes it's been six months looking at the same walls and you have to take sleeping pills and work at 1 a.m. Sometimes your mental breaks, and that's okay. Appreciate everyone. And that's really all I needed on this case. Now, I know a lot of you guys wanted me to cover this. I don't really have too much to say besides forgive and forget on these kind of moments. He gave a lot of detail and background context. He's also even further posted as me recording right now. If you guys want to check out his Twitter on his thoughts about uh, these kind of things and even further detail, I believe, you know, approaching 6,000 words around surrounding topics. So certainly gave a great detail uh, around why he was struggling during this period. And also, if you guys don't know, I've been doing esports and especially 
especially came from the CSGO scene for a couple of years now, actually four to five years. I've seen I heard some casters say some pretty ridiculous things and come back all the stronger and be just okay. Things much worse than this. And so that's why I take my stance on this. Curious what you guys think. Everyone has these moments. And this moment could have been so much worse. I hope it only gets the better by taking care of himself. So shouts to Hex and hopefully he comes back all the stronger. Until next time, you guys know what to do. Drink that water, drink that coffee. I'll catch you guys back here sometime soon.